We've been raising quail for quite some time. And when we first started off, we've changed a lot of things to help automate a lot of the processes. But when we first got our quail, I was really intimidated that it was gonna take a lot of work, a lot of time, and generally be really hard to raise both chickens and quail. But as we've learned, we've learned to change up a lot of our systems, making it easier on ourselves. And our daily routine has gotten really easy as well. So I wanna break down what it looks like on our homestead, taking care of over 30 quails and how we do this and how we're actually going to be adding to our flock this summer and I'm not afraid to be adding to them because I don't think it's going to be a lot more time and effort to be raising even more because of the systems that we have created. Okay, let's dive into what a normal day looks like. So the first thing that we'll do is generally just come out. Our quail are actually located in our outdoor chicken run. So they're safe from any exterior items like predators. We have protection from rain, snow, anything. And then they also have this area that is caged off where they do have some sunlight, some area that they can chill out in. And they have a closed up section on this side where they can stay warm during the winter or cool off during the summer. Because of this, we really don't have to worry about waking up and getting in there too early. And we've automated a lot of the systems. So our food and water are both automated. In the summer, we have an automated watering system. Right now, it's a little bit cold for that because it will freeze up overnight. So right now, we do replenish our water every morning. And what's really nice is we just have two of our watering systems. So we'll leave one in during the day. And then when we come out every day, we'll just switch one out every single time. And the food's automated. So it's not like we have to be redoing that every single day. When I go in and actually do the food and water, I will just do a general glance at our quail, make sure that everyone's happy, they're healthy. Overall, there was no issues that may have happened over the night. Again, I feel really good that they haven't been any predator items that could have gotten to them because we do have this whole chicken run that is gonna protect them. And then they also have this raised area that they're in, which helps prevent a lot of predators from getting to them. Once I've done that, I will check to see if they have any eggs. I'll collect any of the eggs and then I'll start to care for our chickens as well. But generally that's all I really need to do in the morning. Throughout the day, I might come out. I like to do some walks throughout the day. I do work from home. I have an at home office. So around lunchtime, I'll usually go out, check to see if they have any eggs that they've laid as well as our chickens to see if they have any eggs. And if they do, I will go ahead and gather them at that time. So nothing gets stumbled on or pooped on or anything like that. One thing to know is actually cleaning up the area. So if you are using a system where there is a bottom, then you will need to make sure that you are cleaning this area out so that your quail are healthy, happy, they're not getting any sicknesses and they're not walking through their waist. You might need to replace any bedding. We did actually decide to use a quarter of an inch wiring on the bottom. So this lets everything drop down. And then it, because it's in our chicken run, this will drop down and our chickens will actually be able to scratch at it, get any buggies or food that may have also dropped and be able to also churn that as well for us, which is really nice because later on we can use this for composting as well. And generally that's really it. Quail are usually gonna lay around one egg per day. So there isn't gonna be a large amount of eggs that you really need to worry about depending on the size of your flock. And they're generally pretty good about just hopping and bopping around their coop. At night, I will just check on them, make sure that everyone's good. But because this is an enclosed setting, they really don't need to worry about letting them in or out, really just making sure that everyone is good. But that's it. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you guys again next time. Bye.